so in the last lecture we have discussed four different types of feedback so in a voltage series feedback we are sensing or sampling a part of output voltage and feeding back as voltage but in current series feedback we are sensing a part of output current and feeding back as voltage in voltage shunt feedback a part of output voltage is sensed and uh, fed back as current and in current shunt feedback we have taken a part of output current and fed back as current so these are the four uh, different combinations depending on whether i am sampling or sensing output voltage or current and whether i am feeding back uh, the uh, the component as so the signal as a voltage signal or a current signal now in this lecture uh, lecture especially we will see how input resistance and output resistance are affected uh, because of these four types of feedback so we'll see uh, the input resistance with the feedback and output resistance with feedback for all of all these configurations so uh, you consider ri and r out you consider ri as the input resistance without feedback without feedback similarly ro as output resistance without feedback and rif and rof are the input and output resistance with feedback so we'll consider uh, uh, the first case voltage series feedback in the case of voltage series feedback uh, we'll see how a part of output voltage is sampled and uh, fed back as voltage so i'll uh, take the model of a voltage amplifier so an amplifier with an input resistance ri and as a voltage amplifier if uh, the input voltage is say vi this will be a times vi and the output resistance here is in series which is r naught this is actually uh, amplifier so where ri and ro are the input resistance uh, without feedback input and output resistance without feedback now now when i do voltage series feedback what i should do is i should uh, get a part of output voltage for that what i'll do is i'll try to get a part of output voltage so this is v out so i'll try to get a part of output voltage how by uh, passing through a network what we have discussed before is the same thing so i'll get v out by giving to a feedback network maybe what i'll get from here is beta times v naught where beta is a um, beta v naught is a fraction of output voltage and i should feed this back to the input as voltage so what i'll do is feed back as voltage and this represents my total input vs the so black portion is your amplifier without feedback now a part of output voltage is taken through this network so beta v not i got here so this is my beta v not so the with the feedback vs is the input voltage and v out is output voltage without feedback va is the input voltage and v out is the output voltage so what you can see here is uh, from output i have taken v not the full v not and i am trying to get a fraction of that so beta is the uh, feedback factor so i am getting a fraction of v not as beta v not here and as the feedback says uh, i have taken a part of output voltage and feeding back as voltage only that is it is voltage series feedback and you can see that here what i am doing here is actually and i am feeding back as in series with vi right now <clears throat> what i can write here is what is your vs here vs is actually the voltage between this point and this point that is your vi plus beta v not and this beta v not is nothing but your feedback voltage vf vi plus beta v not now <clears throat> what i want to check here is what is your uh, input resistance with the feedback 
to get input resistance with feedback input resistance with feedback is nothing but uh, input voltage with feedback divided by input current vs by ii right <clears throat> so uh, uh, where i can define my r i as v i by i i i can define uh, my uh, input resistance without feedback as v i by i i and this is the r i now uh, what i want to get is r i f which is v s by i i because with the feedback the input voltage is v s now uh, how can i write this yeah so if i look at v s v s is nothing but v i plus beta v naught and if i write v naught v naught is actually a times v i so i can write v s as v i plus a beta v i right or i can write v s as v i into 1 plus a beta now to get uh, input resistance with feedback it is v s by i i what is v s v i into 1 plus a beta by i i or i can write r i f as v i by i i is nothing but r i into 1 plus a beta so what we uh, understood from this is when i'm applying voltage series feedback uh, previously if the uh, without feedback if the input resistance is r i now with this feedback input resistance is increased by a factor of 1 plus a beta that is a feedback factor so i can write it is r i into 1 plus a beta in the case of voltage series feedback right similarly if you look at uh, output resistance with feedback r o f how i can find output resistance is same procedure by shorting the input and give some voltage at the output terminal so uh, <clears throat> if i am giving some voltage at the output terminal i can write v naught as if i am connecting a signal here uh, what i can get here is uh, that will uh, so output voltage is nothing but uh, assume that this is my output current i naught so i can write v naught as i naught into r naught plus a v i right v naught is equal to i naught into r naught plus a v i uh, but <clears throat> what is the relation of v i and v f ah, when i uh, do this when i uh, calculate output resistance input should be shorted so this input uh, should be short v s is not there v s should be zero if v s is zero what i'll understand is your v i is equal to minus v f right when this point is shorted uh, v a positive is connected to v f negative or i can write this as your v i is equal to minus v f so i can write v naught as i naught into r naught minus a into v f and what is v f actually v f is beta times v naught so i can write v naught as i naught into r naught minus your v f is nothing but fraction of what beta v naught so i can write a beta into v naught or if i uh, get v naught terms this side it is 1 plus a beta into i naught into r naught or i can write v naught by i naught is equal to r naught by 1 plus a beta so with feedback what happened is output resistance decreased by the factor of 1 plus a beta so in the case of voltage series feedback input impedance increased by a factor of 1 plus a beta but output impedance decreased by a factor of 1 plus a beta and one of the popular uh, examples for this voltage series feedback is your voltage follower circuit voltage follower circuit is if you have an op amp voltage follower is same as connecting in this configuration your vi and this is your v naught right so the open loop gain is nothing but a so this is a negative feedback so uh, what i can write is yeah 
This circuit is a typical example of voltage series feedback. It's a fraction of output voltage. Uh, part of output voltage is taken and uh, fed back as voltage only. This is a typical example. So if I write the output voltage, V0 is nothing but is a negative feedback. So we can apply the virtual ground property. So it is VI minus V0 into A. Or I can write V0 is equal to AVI minus V0 into A. And if I take V0 this side, 1 plus A. So V0 by VI is nothing but A by 1 plus A. If A is large, open loop gain of an op-amp will be large. If A is large, this will be approximately equal to, this will be equal to 1. If A is large, I can neglect this one and this will be equal to 1. So this I can call it as voltage follower. Right, it's as uh, same as what we discussed in common collector configuration. Right, <clears throat> so uh, for a voltage follower, with the feedback, gain will be approximately equal to 1. Or here what I can understand here is, is a beta is equal to 1. It is unity gain feedback. The feedback because uh, I told that feedback factor is actually beta times V0. Here actually what I am feeding back is same as output only. So here beta is equal to 1. The same as voltage follower. So similarly, we can derive all the uh, input and output impedance of all the four configuration. So uh, if you do that, uh, we will get um, in the case of a current uh, series feedback, uh, you will get that input resistance is improved by a factor of 1 plus A beta, but at the same time, <coughs> yeah, even output resistance is also improved by a factor of 1 plus A beta in the case of current series feedback. In the case of voltage shunt feedback, uh, your input resistance and output resistance both are decreased by a factor of 1 plus A beta. And in the case of current shunt feedback, <coughs> your input resistance is decreased by a factor of 1 plus A beta and your output resistance is increased by a factor of 1 plus A beta. So if you look at voltage series feedback, input resistance is improved by 1 plus A beta, output resistance is decreased. Here both are increasing, in voltage and both are decreasing and in current it is opposite of voltage series feedback. Right. So clearly uh, see how the input impedance and output impedance are varying with feedback and uh, especially in the case of voltage series feedback, uh, look at this uh, example voltage follower and see. <coughs> Yeah, so in this case, since it is voltage series feedback, input resistance will be Ri into 1 plus A beta and output resistance will be Ro divided by 1 plus A beta. So in this case, beta is equal to 1. So it is simple as Ri into 1 plus A and Ro by 1 plus A. Right? So look at these uh, lectures and properly understand how the feedback uh, uh, changes the input and output impedance. Thank you.